What's going on, my motherfucking Aquarius? It's your good sis, Lava the Empress. And for those who are new to my channel, I give spiritual readings. Okay, I said spiritual readings. I meant to say spiritual tea, but tomato, tomato. I get that clarity for you and see what's going on in your life, what you need to hear right now, what advice I can give to you at this time. Um, just whatever guidance I can give to you. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Don't do me grimy. Subscribe to my shit. Help me get to a thousand so you could get this free motherfucking personalized reading. Oh, did I forget to mention? If I reach a thousand, I'm going live and I'm giving out free motherfucking readings. So, if your ass don't want to pay, I'll see you in the live video when your ass subscribe and help me get to a thousand. Love you dearly. Um, without further ado, let's get right to it and see what's going on. For my Aquarius right now, what's the energy? Hold on. Cause bro, what's the energy? Oh. We not gonna speak on what I just seen. <laughs> we are though, we are. What is the energy? Not the energy, but show me Aquarius in love right now. Mmm, Aquarius. You got three cards. You're the first group so far to get three cards in love. I'm pulling like one card each because I'm really just using what I'm hearing. I'm not really focused really on the cards. Um, let's see. Career-wise, show me Aquarius in career in their financial state. Yep. Okay. Give me the overall um, message for my Aquarius. Overall advice. Oh. Wow. That's a lot of cards. I'm going to put it back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to keep that and put this back. Yeah. I'll still read it, though. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands energy. You could have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or it could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, you could definitely be in this energy of being in and out or just dating around not really committing to one thing or one person at this time let's see though the overall energy that you guys are in is that some of you guys are lying about something let's really talk about y'all don't want to talk about the truth but we going to bring the truth today Somebody out here lying. You could be lying about whatever. I don't care what you're lying about, but you're lying. It could be something as small as, you know, saying you on the way, but you still in bed. To something as grand as lying to somebody that you love. But I do see that there's a lot of deceit here, but I also see there's a lot of um, wanting to have it all at once. Wanting to have your cake and eat it too. There's a lot of sneaking off in the night. There's a lot of tiptoeing. There's a lot of things that you keep to yourself. You are very secretive right now. Or people find you as secretive. Maybe people find you as somebody that's mysterious or is holding back a lot of truth. With this five, seven of swords here, swords is all about mental um, and communication so I feel like maybe people don't trust you or maybe you are just holding a lot in okay being very secretive with your thoughts at this time Aquarius as far as love I feel like 
you are spiritually connected to somebody or you are um, trying to get in tune spiritually, yeah, you're definitely in your head about somebody that you can't let go of or you're having a hard time letting go of somebody or a connection. You feel spiritually in tune with them, connected to them. Maybe you are trying to look for guidance spiritually. This person could be of a uh, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Mars, whatever, Jupiter, Neptune, <laughs> Uranus. This person could have Scorpio in their chart um, or Virgo or Capricorn or Taurus. In their chart you just heavily thinking about them probably losing sleep there's a lot of anxiety about whatever it is that you're holding on to or trying to hold on to when it comes to love as far as career I feel like you feel stuck like I feel like you want to travel you could be traveling or in a travel you could be in a traveling job that you're stuck at that you're not content with Aquarius or you have to travel to this job, but you're not content with this job. Or maybe you're feeling stuck. Maybe you're not traveling right now. Maybe there is no movement when it comes to your career at this time. You guys are wanting to travel, definitely. I feel like you guys want to definitely be free to do what you want to do, to go places. And maybe right now, financially, you feel like there's a hindrance. Something is hindering you from being free. The overall message is that you will get what you want. And I feel like you guys are going to make that decision to move on, to travel, to move away. Some of you guys are moving to what, yeah, you're taking your family and you're moving or some of you guys are just moving, you're traveling, you're out. Whatever it is you feel like you are responsible for, you're taking that with you and then you're gone. Everything else, you're leaving that in the past because you want to be more content. I'm hearing selfish. Some of you could be a little selfish. I'm not going to hold you. Some of you could be very selfish, Aquarius. But I feel like you definitely um, are moving on to what you feel like fulfills you. Let's see what other messages I can get for you at this time. What other messages can I get for my Aquarius at this time? Yes, okay. Yeah, express your love. Yeah, so maybe the lie is that you are holding back your thoughts from somebody. Somebody that you are holding on to, that you feel spiritually connected to. But you know you need to love yourself first. Or the advice is for you to love yourself first. Maybe you're taking that action already. To love yourself first. And that's why there's no conversation happening right now as far as love. And you are in your head. Some of you are not having a conversation with somebody. Yeah. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Maybe that's what you're not being honest about. You are not being honest about your feelings with somebody. Or they're not being honest about their feelings with you. But we have romantic feelings here. Yeah, you definitely feel mutual. Like you and this person definitely have romantic feelings. Okay, but there's a need to love yourself first. You know that you're healing family issues right now. You're healing your inner wounds. You're healing family issues. Baby mama, baby daddy drama. You're healing all of that. You're recognizing or you want true love or you recognize who your true love is. And you're not trying to pass that up. So you're going to express it, but you're going to express it when you're ready because you're loving yourself first. 
you're packing your shit and you're moving away from the bullshit. Some of you who are not moving, this doesn't have to be a physical move. Just moving away from a mindset, moving away from a certain energy. I just feel like you're changing your perspectives on something and you're moving away from something. So you take that how it resonates. But let's see what kind of um, channeled messages I can get from my Aquarius at this time. Let's see. Let's see what kind of channeled messages I can get at this time. For my Aquarius, what do Spirit want you to know? I'm obsessed with you. So that's what Spirit... <sighs> Some of you, maybe you are obsessed with this person. Some of you are definitely in your head a lot. Or maybe they're obsessed with you. They're up. They're thinking about you. They're trying to contact you in the 5D. They're trying to talk to you. Um in the spiritual realms for some, for whoever that resonated for. Let's see. Yeah, definitely there's an, obses an obsession here. You guys love each other. Why aren't you here? So somebody wants to know why aren't you here? Or maybe Y'all just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on right now, Aquarius, when it comes to love, or when it comes to your opportunities. Maybe you are in the energy of like, why isn't things happening for me the way I want them to right now? But there's a need to change your perspective. Oh, let me open up this blue one before I open up the green. Let's see. Look, Spirit is saying pull back, you need rest. A lot of you guys have been like overworking yourself or just putting your energy, a lot of your energy into something. And you need to pull back from whatever that is because your energy needs rest. I feel very um, depleted, but that's only because I'm tired. But I feel like you guys are tired too. <laughs> Or you can get tired very easily now. You've been sleeping a lot lately. I mean, not sleeping a lot lately. Reach for the stars. You are almost there, Spirit is saying. And your last message is, it's up to you, so what you want to do. Look, the fact that everybody is getting this motherfucking message. Spirit is really saying, it's up to you. It's up to you to change it. It's up to you to change your situation. Stop waiting around and actually make shit happen. Okay? For those who have been putting in a lot of work, relax yourself and allow things to happen. So you take that how it resonates. Aquarius, if this resonated in any way, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know the tea because I'm nosy like that. And also subscribe to my shit because I'm trying to reach a thousand so I could kick it with you motherfuckers, all right? So if you want a free reading, a personalized reading, a more in-depth reading, get me to a thousand and I got you, bro. <laughs> it's your good sis, Lava the Empress, and I'll see you in your next video. Bye, Aquarius. <laughs>